Hello, Infinity Kingdom audience. Hope you're having an awesome day, evening, or whatever time you're watching this video. I would love it if you hit the like button, and I would love it if you hit the subscribe button, and I'm really glad you're here. So it's real early. It is my time, 5.48 a.m. I had trouble sleeping, so I thought I would do an Infinity Kingdom video. So let's, uh, okay, against my better judgment, I wanted some, where do I need to go? I need to go into the Triss event. And shop. I wanted to get some more alchemy stones. I'm to have no coins. I got three alchemy stones. I want to do some reborn borns of artifacts. So against my better judgment, I went ahead and got some Trisk Divine Coins. Now my issue is, I guess with Trisk, I'm, I'm going to come out here. I'm not a big fan of the Trisk event at all. Um, I won. I got a really good draw on my first pull. I got this one right here. Right there. That was from a free pull. Uh, so I got Fear of Domination. So, I got five coins. I got a free one. I was hoping after it resets that free, free, uh, Fear of Domination comes back. So, it doesn't. So, it makes me not like the Triss event even more, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyways, I want to do a video on, on what can I pull with five coins. Let's take a look here. What do I get? So I got 500,000, and see if we go in the shop, I got a coin there. And these are called the Cinder Wish. So let's go ahead and make a wish again. Okay, not excited about that one. Not excited about that one. And last one. And just reinforces why I'm not a big fan of the Trish event. Uh, so I got some resources. I got some ingredients. And I spent way too much money. Um, the big thing is, and then I got six of the Cinder Wish coins. Now, and now I can buy... Right here, I could buy this, and I want six of them. Oh, okay, I want ninety-nine of them. No, I want six. There we go. So we're gonna go into also. We got the wonderful journey going on, and I don't think I collect anything right now. I got 99 coins. And so with 99 coins, what can I get? Let's take a look. Let's see if I unlock all the way up to the top. Now, I like the fact that the Wonderful Journey now offers forging materials. I definitely like that. And I like the crystal balls. To a point, eventually I'm going to say, okay, uh, as long as they start throwing in different artifacts into the Stellar Compass event, if they keep the same things over and over again, uh, this is going to wear a little bit. So let's start doing some rolls. And see what I can get. Okay, I got my first chest. Got ten of them. How many twos was in that row? That looked like a lot of twos. I gotta look back on the video on that one. Well, that was a nice roll. I unlocked two chests, that one. So I got the forging material and I got more crystal balls. Now, 
Now, the key thing you always remember with Wonderful Journey is that dice do carry over, so you don't have to use all your dice. So what I have been doing to maximize Wonderful Journey, uh, I've been holding off on uh, doing my market and getting my fragments that I want to get. So I'm focusing on earth right now, on getting earth fragments. And so since Charles the Great or, or yeah, this one's gonna take a while. Uh, I'm gonna develop some other ones. So I'm working on developing either Leonidas or Alexander the Great uh, to have those up in my Earth March until Charles the Great gets maxed out. Uh, so that's going to take a little while and so I'm focusing on Earth right now to max out my Earth. So I wait till the wonderful journey happens and I do a bunch of refreshes and spend gems there and that gives me a bunch of coin. Or I spend a bunch of gems, and that gives me a bunch of dice. So let's continue on. All right. I mean, if you're going to spend gems, you might as well do it during the wonderful journey. And try to get some extra rewards. All right, not doing too bad. I think I'm going to be left with uh, not doing five rolls now. Going to go down to one. There we go. So I still have 48 coins. So very happy of our coins dice. So that will be carrying over into the next event. So I have a good amount into the next event. Um... And got anything in to claim here? Let's see. All right, so let's go into the Stellar Compass. I want the Homer. I got 15 fragments right now. No Homer. Some gold. Definitely got some gold. All right, let's do it again. And no Homer again. I got 80. 80. Now I'm down to 70. No Homer. Come on, Homer. There you are. There you are, Homer. Now I got 30. I got 30 fragments right now. Let's see if I can unlock them. Nothing there. I'm getting a lot of gold. At least this uh, looks like a good way to get some gold. Oh, come on. Come on, Homer. There we go. There we go. I got three pulls. Will I be able to unlock Homer? Let's go. Let's go. I feel like I'm rolling dice right now. In the casino, rolling dice. Oh, on my last one. Here's my last one. Come on, Homer. Show up. Ah, no, Homer. Well, I still have some hope by the end of the event. I can purchase. Other way to get crystal balls is in the redeem event. So I can get a bunch there. I can get 25. Hmm. I am going to do it. How many can I get? How many can I get? Can I get 25? I can't even get 10. Wait. What's the limit on these? Uh, 
I own zero redeem. I can only get nine. Ah. Ah. I need one more. I need one more. I had to do something strategic. I just opened up all my... I don't have any strategic chest. Ah. All right. Well, I'm not getting uh, Homer right now. I'm not getting Homer's epic. Let's go into the forge. Let's take a look at where I'm at. Where are you, Homer? There we go. Got 45. Maybe I'll be able to get it by the end of the event. We'll see. We'll see. I got one more crystal to get. Try one more roll and see how I end up. Oh, I got materials, though. I can pull, make stuff in here. And that is it. So hit the subscribe button, like. Definitely more videos coming out, and you have an awesome day.